Welcome to this Steagle video to show how you can use the page headers in new Google Sites. There are three header types, the large banner, the banner which is the default, and the title only type. Let's have a look at those now. This is our 2016 version of our website, steagle.com. You can see our header type on this particular page. We have currently set to banner the default. But you can also have large banner, which makes the banner at the top taller. And you can have title only, which literally removes the background and gives you just text and images. If you create a new page, it will follow the header that you've selected on the page you were looking at when you made the new page. Let's demonstrate that. So we're on our home page. We have a custom background image. And you can see we've switched off the adjustability, adjust for readability. If we go to make a new page, once the new page is created, you'll see that it uses exactly the same settings as the home page, as that's what we were looking at when we created the new page. We have the custom background image, and the adjust for readability is switched off. If, however, we were looking at a page that didn't have a custom background image and was just using the title only type of header, when we go to create a new page, it takes those settings. Let's see that. We're going to create a new page whilst looking at a page that's got title only. And when Google Sites will create this new page, it will follow this page that we're looking at currently. So there's now only the title only option. You can add your own custom background image. And again, you can choose the adjust for readability option. On this particular page, we've just got the default background image given to us by Google Sites. And we can choose to go and change this image just as we can on any other section. We're going to pick an image from our Google Drive folder. And as you can see, it will automatically adjust for readability. And you have the option to turn this off if that's not going to fit the style you want. Within the page header, you can add multi lines of text with different formats. If we wanted to replicate something similar to our home page, we can adjust the size of the text tile for the title. We can adjust things like its alignment. And you can also add more lines of text. And you can choose either the title, the heading for those sections. Or you can use normal text. And you can use any of the normal text formatting features like bold and italic. You can add images also to the page header area. You go to insert panel and then image. And then what you can do is you can add in an image of your choice. Again, we're going to select one from Google Drive. You can move this into the page header area and you can resize it accordingly. As you can see that the image is always aligned to the top. So we found a technique that you can use to give some alignment to your images. We're going to replace this image with an image that we've added some extra padding around the image in an image editor. So 
So this image will now allow us to make it much bigger and much wider. And we can, because we've got padding around the entire image, we can zoom in and out of the image to make it bigger or smaller. As you can see, this gives us a lot of options about how we want the image to look. There are some limitations with the headers, uh, which you've probably found obvious during this demo. So let's just highlight some of those. There are only the three header types. If you don't want to have a header on your page, you can't. You must have at least something in the header. The title only header always has a white background. There is no option to set the title only to have a different color. Let's just demonstrate that. If we just switch the header type to title only, you can see that there's no option at all to change the background color. We can just change the header type. If you want a flat color for your background image, you can set it to banner and then you can upload a background image, which is just a flat color. The titles in the header are very large with a large white space. As you can see, if we go to reset this header and we will remove the image. And just have text formatted as a title. It's much larger than text title on the page. Let's demonstrate that. You can see the title in the header section is much larger. When you do switch it to title only, it does make it a little bit smaller, but there's still quite a considerable amount of white space around that. The new pages only take the header type and the background image. If you've formatted your text or made the text tile for the title inside the page header smaller, when you go and make a new page, this does not get carried over. It's only the background image and its readability setting. And as with all sections in new Google Sites, at the moment there's no vertical grouping or alignment. The alignment is always to the top of the page header section. We've hoped you found this useful. Thanks for watching, and you can find more new Google Sites videos at steagle.com.